Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can attach multiple attachments to an email in Gmail using Google Drive. In fact, I'm going to show you all of the different ways that you can attach files to an email in Gmail using Google Drive and I'm going to let you decide which way is best for your situation. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so here I am in my Gmail account and I'm quickly going to go over these three different ways of attaching files. They've actually kind of evolved this process as Google Drive has evolved. So the original way of attaching a file was actually not through Gmail at all. It was through Google Drive. So you can go into Google Drive and you can find a document that you want to share. So say this spreadsheet. And you'll notice that this spreadsheet is in Google spreadsheet format. However, I might want to send that as Excel format. And by using this method of attaching this file, we can actually convert it into Excel. All the other methods that we're going to use to attach files, we can't convert at the same time. So you'd have to convert first and then use that method for attaching your file. But in this method, we can convert and send all in one fell swoop. So all we need to do is right click on the document. We're going to go to share and then we're going to click email as attachment. Now there are two limitations of sending files this way and I'm going to tell you what both of those are. So we click email as attachment. You'll notice this box pop pops up and we have the option to choose what format we want. That's awesome. That's how we can convert it while we send it. So we can choose Excel, OpenOffice, or PDF. If we wanted to share this as a Google Doc, instead of hitting email as attachment from the share section, we would have just hit, and sh hit the share button and then we could share it with somebody who has a Google address. But we don't want to do that. We want email as attachment. So I click email as attachment. I'm going to go ahead and enter the email address I want to send it to. I'll just send it to myself here so we can see what it looks like. We can add a subject. The two limitations are one, it doesn't pull your Gmail signature. So you're going to have to add your own signature here in this message. Unfortunately, it's just not an option of Google Drive yet, although I expect that feature to come out down the road here. The second limitation is we can only send one file at once. So I cannot attach another file to the same email. I'd have to send it in a separate email. So I'm just going to quickly type. Here is, if I can type, the document I said I would send. Okay, and we can go ahead and we can send that. And you'll see in my email here, might take a second, you'll see here it is, test spreadsheet, and it's attached as an Excel spreadsheet. So that's the first way to email a document. But we can't do multiple at once. So how can we do multiple at once? Well, we've got two options. One is if you upgrade to the new Compose experience in Gmail, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll go ahead and click Compose. And if you see this email pop up in your full screen like this, you're not using the new Gmail Compose. So to, to use it, once you hit Compose, just click on this link up here that says try out the new Compose experience. We click on that, and you'll notice that this box is going to shrink, and it's going to go to the kind of the bottom right of my screen here. Um, it's going to give me a tutorial. I'm just going to say got it on this tutorial but you'll see now my new message comes here at the bottom right so I can actually go through my email and this message will stay up here so if I need to use a previous email while I'm composing this message I can do that now but the other thing that this adds is it adds this little section down here where we can attach files so you can see we could attach files traditionally by finding them on our computer or I could go here and I could hit insert files using drive so if I click that it asks me where I want my files from, so I'm going to choose My Drive. And you can see I have the option of adding all of my Google Docs directly from Google Drive into this email. So I actually have a Word file here that it was a review I wrote years ago, and I want to attach that to this email. Now watch what's going to happen. Unfortunately, I can't attach documents using this method. I'm going to actually add in two documents. I'm going to add in this Word file and this Google spreadsheet file. So we have two different formats to see how they work. I'm going to hit insert and you'll notice that it just inserts a link into the body of my email. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to send this email to myself as well. And I'm just going to call it test. Unfortunately, 
When I hit send and this email comes through, you'll notice that these files, there's no attachment on this email. These files were not attached. They were just linked in the email down here. I actually linked it below my signature, so that's why I had to click that. So in order to access these files, the receiver is going to have to have a Google account. They're going to click on it and it's going to open up in Google Docs. Since I have access to this, I see it right away. However, if the person didn't have a Google account, they'd have to log into a Google account, and you'd also have to make sure that this file was shared with them. So you'd either have to share their Gmail name explicitly here, which I talk way more about in my four-part series on using Google Drive here in 2013, if you're more interested in that, or I'd have to change the access from private to anyone with the link. And if I did that, then people could view this without signing in. But it's still not going to be an attachment. They would view it here. It would look a little bit different than this. Um, it, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to edit it or anything, but they would be able to view the document. Um, so that's an option if the person is kind of techie, familiar with using technology and that sort of thing. The third option might be the best for some of you, but again, you can't convert while using this option. What that is, is that is to download the actual local Google Drive application. So if you just go to Google Drive, if you go up here in your Gmail and you click on Drive, if you, um, whether you have a Mac or Windows, there will be this download link that says Download Drive for Mac or PC or Windows, and you can just download and install it, and you'll have to log in with your Google account. And what it does is it creates a folder on your computer that syncs with your live Google Drive, your online Google Drive. So you can see I've got all my files in this folder on my computer that I've got over here in my real Google Drive. So what I can do is instead of attaching files to a new email in here in Gmail using the Google Drive button, I could actually hit the Attach Files option. I could go to my Google Drive folder, which is now installed on my computer, and I could attach all the files I wanted. So just to do what we did before, I had my Call of Duty doc. So let's say I want to attach that. I hit open, and you'll see it's actually attaching it this time. And then let's say I want to attach another file. I can go back in here, and we um, have our mail merge G sheet. I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Now that you'll notice is in G sheet format. It's not converted. So that is the limitation of attaching files using your local Google Drive. So let me just send this to myself again so you can see what it looks like. Hit send. Should come in my inbox here. So you can see here it is in my inbox. This time I do have an attachment. I actually have two attachments. I've got call of duty dot doc. So because that was in Microsoft Word format to start, when I attached it using the local Google Drive shared folder, it attached it as a, as a dot .doc, and this person can then download it and open it in Microsoft Word, unlike the last method we used where we actually were just able to view the document in Google Drive. However, this mail merge test.g sheet, it's in a Google spreadsheet format, that was also attached, so this person could download it and then upload it into Google Docs. But the problem is, is if you're attaching a G sheet to somebody, why don't you just share that with them through Google Drive instead of making them download it and upload it? Um, the real power here would be if it had automatically converted this G sheet to Excel, but it doesn't. So you can see there's kind of limitations with each of these three methods of sharing files via email using Google Drive. Um, the very first method, the one that I showed you where you just right click, go to share, and email's attachment, handles conversion. But you can only send one file at once. So if you just want to send one file, it's in Google spreadsheet format, you need to convert it and email it, this is how you're going to do it. If you need to send multiple files, however, you might want to actually say I have this test document, I could go ahead and I could download this and I could save it as a Microsoft Word document. And I could do that with all of my documents that I need to send and then I'll go and send a normal email. If all of your documents are in Google Drive and they're already in Microsoft Word format, then I would just use the local Google Drive folder method that I showed you earlier. Uh, so these three methods are the primary methods. If you have any questions, go ahead and, and please leave them here on YouTube or on AntsonAlex.com. 
also to get more in-depth information on sharing in Google Drive, actually composing documents, organizing your documents, I have a four-part video series on using Google Drive in 2013 that has been super popular. I think it's uh, received well over 20, 30,000 views here in, in only the first few months. Um, so it's definitely been a lot, really helpful to a lot of people, so you should check that out. If this video was helpful at all, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.